Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to my channel and today in this video I'm going to show you Razer Cortex best settings for Fortnite in chapter 3 season 3 for boosting your FPS and fixing your FPS drops and stress issue on your any low end PC. So guys make sure to watch my whole video if you want to get more performance out of your PC. So guys let's go straight into this video. So guys first of all you need to download this Razer Cortex installer on your computer. This is the latest version and also it is completely free. For downloading this guy's software you need to open up the link from the description send that will take you here onto my this website. Now you need to open up this first post which is the Razer Cortex best settings for Fortnite Season 3 Max FPS Boost or you can simply search into the search bar for the Razer Cortex. Now click here on this article, it will take you onto the next page, scroll all the way down and here is the to download button, first download link uh, with some errors and here is the uh, simple download link from the uh, slow download speed. So guys click onto any one of this and that will take you here onto this next media file website. You need to click on this download button and download the software on your computer. I already got one here on my desktop so now I'm going to show you how to guys use this software for boosting your PC performance so simply double click here and guys here it will show you this kind of the installer setup here you will go this kind of the interface for the Razer Cortex on so guys you need to simply check mark onto the Razer Cortex just simply uncheck all of these boxes now here you can find out this is the 170 megabyte download click on this install button and it will start downloading the Razer Cortex on your computer so guys once the downloading and installation process is completed in your Razer Cortex now it's time to launching the software and using the best settings for boosting over PC performance. So guys check mark onto the launch Razer Cortex and click on the get started button. So, so once you have installed the Razer Cortex on your computer so you will go to this kind of the interface and it will show you all of this single game which is installed on your computer. So guys now settings which you need to do on your computer for optimizing it you need to guys follow properly also on your computer. So guys first of all go straight towards this game booster section and here you will find out this is a lot of options and you can find out here this enable cpu core disable cpu solid mode enable game power solution clear clipboard here is a lot of services which will be disabled while you're playing the game and here is another service which is the explorer.exe file also check mark here click ok launch game on game desktop also check mark click ok and guys these settings you need to do before playing this game on your computer once you guys are done with the special section of the Razer cortex now you need to scroll all the way down and here is the processor which is running in my background right now so what you need to do you need to guys select out every single unused program from your computer like for example right now i'm using the obs studio so i will not check mark onto this application here is the score i'm not using it in my background while i'm playing so i will check mark here also check mark for the skype here is the search host.exe just simply leave it here is the microsoft edge like here here is the emp if you have knowledge what what is this uh application is about so guys simply check mark and if you don't know like what this application does on your computer so guys don't uncheck or don't check mark onto that box so here is the nvidia share also uncheck this box don't check it here is the epic game here is the cortana check mark here nvidia uh, container just simply leave it here is the live wallpaper also check mark here here is uh the next option host process for window and here is most important guys option which you need to uh, check mark for disabling this option while you're playing the game which is the runtime broker simply check mark here now you need to scroll all the way down and there you will find out more options like here to also check mark here and guys once you're done with all of the settings now you need to scroll more down and here you will go to this services tab and here is all of the windows services which are running in your background while you're playing game so guys once you're done with all of the settings now simply you need to click on this boost now button and you can also guys uh, click on this recommend settings but we have done already the, all the settings so therefore you simply click on this boost now button and this will stop all of the background application from running in your background while you are playing games so guys once you do all of the settings guys now let's go for our next step that is the system booster option and guys here you will find out a lot of options like the application junk file the game junk file the register free system junk file recycle bin and a lot of guys other stuff so guys simply click on this first file which is the system cleanup click here on this button and guys it will enable the settings and now click on the scan now button and it will start scanning all of the system junk file from your computer now simply click here on this clean button and that will guys clean all of this junk file from your computer so guys simply click on this clean button and it will start deleting all of the unused or temporary data from your computer so here we have saved 22 gb from my computer so now let's go for the next step which is the speed up tab and guys here you will find out this this cache cleanup and the desktop menu optimization and guys you don't need to change anything from here just simply 
click on this optimize button and that will start optimizing all of your pc for the best performance so guys once you're done with all of the settings now guys let's uh, try this option so first of all let's go into our first option which is uh, the game booster simply click here on the boost now option and guys here it's start disabling all of these guys application from my background you can check it out here the release memory which is my ram that is around 2 gb of the ram is guys cleaned from my computer by using this option and you can check it out here this all the program which was uh, running before now these are disabled and these are not working in my computer so let's go for the uh, task manager of my windows and here you can check it out here the cpu usage a lot less than before here is my memory usage and guys now let's go for the next option which is the system booster go for the speed up tab and click here on this optimize button and it will again optimizing your all of these application and program or your hard disk or every single component so guys once you're done with all of the settings now you need to simply launch your game so how do you guys launch your game you need to go for this launcher tab and here you will find out this fortnite or whatever game you want to launch click here on this play button and here you will go to this kind of guys settings or interface click on the start game button and that will guys launch the fortnite on your computer with the best performance out of your every single component of your pc so guys that's it for this video and i hope so you love it so please make sure to subscribe turn on the bell notification and drop a like on this video and also share your opinion about the next topic which you need on my channel so guys let the next video peace out